Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to create the explosions, virtual effects, particles, and Icron 8 3D animation software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. This is the Icron 8, and this is the latest version today, the Icron 8.22. First, to open the explosions, the VFX particle, it is at here. Click the set, then click the particle, it automatically will come to this part, this folder. You should be able to see it in explosions. Just drag and drop to the scene. Now you can see, this is the source, and you can play. Of course, when you render it, you don't want to see this. Then, you have to go to the scene. You should be able to see the explosion is here. You hide it. While you hide it, if you play, it still can play. It still can show you the effect. That is pretty easy. So select from here. Then, you can, you can just adjust it from here. The first one is the global scale. If you make it bigger, try to play now you can see this is a big explosion now if you make it become really small let's try to play it will become a really small explosion the size next is the color of the explosion this is the default color you can copy this html color code Control c to copy as a backup then maybe you choose a notepad and paste it here. Now we can just try to test any other colors, for example, green color explosion. Yes, you can. Now you can see the explosion become green color. You can change the color of the explosion. If you choose the white, it will become a white color explosion. It is up to you to choose the color. By default, you can paste the HTML Copy the default color, paste it here, control V, then try to play again. This, this is the, the default color. Next, you can change the smoke opacity, the lifetime. If you change the lifetime to become maximum, try to play. You can see the whole explosions, everything it become long life. The lifetime become three seconds. The power of the explosion, just try. Now you can see different intensity. Show you the power. Then the flux now is 14. So many variables, the parameters here. The ribbon flux. Try. Debris flux. Now you can see so many debris. Debris thickness. This is the smoke. The smoke opacity, if you change it to become zero, then you can't see any of the smoke. Now you can see the smoke. Next, the debris length. Now you can see this is the parameter, the smoke gravity, the debris gravity if you change it to become zero. Now that means no gravity. It won't fall down. If the gravity you put it as a positive value, that means it is going up. The gravity is up. Then, if it is negative value, then the, gra gra the gravity is down. It will drop. The fire life. The ground fire density. You can just test it one by one. The ground fire size 
choose 2. The light intensity. So by using all of these variables and parameters, you can create any scales. You can create the explosion of any scales, any color, with any patterns that suit to your that's suitable for your 3D scene and 3D animations. For each of the situations, you can use different types of the explosions. By default, it is just a simple explosion. This is this is an Icron 8 explosion visual effects particle. And in this tutorial, I already show you how to create each type of the explosions. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation, and 3D game developing. See you!